Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys checking us out today. Uh, we're going to head out here to the garden. Me and this kid here. I don't know if he knows what he wants to do yet or not. We're going to head out to the garden. Uh, we're going to pick some beans out of our bean tunnel and hopefully get around to plant some stuff in the greenhouse. We pulled our carrots a couple weeks ago. The sun and heat just burned them up. So we're planning on planting some new stuff in the greenhouse. We finally got some rain all last night. Just soaked everything. We were so grateful for that, uh, but now <laughs> it's made it so humid, it's ridiculous. But we can't complain about everything. We're loving the rain. Uh, all the fruit trees, everything we've planted has needed it so bad. Our watermelons, our garden. God, we needed the rain so bad. But stick around, we're going to get out here and see if we can't throw this joker full of green beans. See this guys, this is what we're dealing with right here. There's another one right there. These Japanese beetles are just eating up our bean plants. I just grab them and give them a little squish. I get a little squish, but you can't get them all. You can shake this pin and they just buzz off here like crazy. We hadn't put anything on it. Uh, we're just hoping the beans outgrow the, the pests. And so far, so good. Yeah. Give them a little squeeze and they just fall right off. But heck, you can't squeeze hundreds of them. But the beans are doing okay. Let's check out our watermelons real quick. I haven't seen them in a couple of days. Well, the watermelons are coming up. They're doing pretty good. Every row is a different watermelon. Every, every row has got a different uh, variety of watermelon. I got one that's really yellow. I don't know what that's all about. I fertilized them yesterday with some blood meal because uh, we knew this rain was coming. So I'm hoping to see a jump in growth. Uh, like I said, I just did that yesterday. We got the rain last night, so I'm really hoping for a jump in growth. This half of the garden really grew well, or is growing well. But from here down... See, I got one there, one there, and I did a bunch all the way across every row. Like this row right here, for instance, it only had one plant. It only got one. And uh, I don't know if the seeds were bad, because I planted every one of them exactly the same. But I stopped, uh, I want to say, at this row here. But I still got to finish the rest. I want to start putting in some more this weekend. I'm off. Today's my first off day. I worked last night. But uh, we're going to try to squeeze in the day. Or if not today, tomorrow, putting in the rest of the watermelons. If not, we're going to put some pumpkins. We're trying to figure out what all to put in here and fill in some of these holes. We have just been so busy. Our garden is nothing. Everything's coming up. But we're so far behind compared to all the other folks out there. We've been watching all these other YouTube grow uh, guys. and Everybody's just harvesting and having a ball. We have just been busy, busy, busy. Of course, I know everybody's busy, but... We just hadn't had time to plant a lot, so today and tomorrow and Sunday, I'm really hoping to get some plants in the ground. I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start now in the greenhouse. We're going to put some cucumbers in the greenhouse. Okay, everybody, we're back in the greenhouse. Our plan is first of all, let me show y'all. I haven't been in the greenhouse in a while. Travis has been kind of taking care of everything, but uh, our squash has just gone absolutely crazy. It's growing all out into the wall and to the floor. This is our zucchini. I just watered it. It's trying to pick back up. But 
it's really looking good we got flowers on everything so we should be getting some squash off these really really soon really and some zucchini really soon hopefully I've always said on these videos I make it I make it clear I'm the worst gardener ever well what my plan is for today is we got these two extra boxes that we had uh, carrots and stuff in I'm gonna put some beans in this one I think what the heck I'm gonna put some bush beans in here see if we can't overload it in bush beans and this one I put some of these tomato cages in here and I thought this would be fun just to put some uh, cucumbers Travis loves cucumbers my wife everybody in the house loves cucumbers I don't eat none of this stuff but they're fun to grow I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna plant some cucumbers three different varieties and uh, that way we just got a little of everything we planted them last year on these tomato uh, cages they did great uh, everybody thinks you got to put up a big trellis and all that we just grew them up these things they did fine so I'm gonna do that again we're trying to beat this rain I still got to pick up my niece and nephew from work uh, but we're trying to race this rain because I want to put some more stuff out in the garden stick around guys we'll plant some cucumbers Actually, I brought out, oh, I'm sweating like a pig. Whew. I brought out three different kinds. Uh, Boston pickling cucumber from uh, uh, the MI Gardener folks. And this one here is pretty neat. I can't wait to see this one. It's a white wonder cucumber. White wonder. I can hardly wait to see that one grow. I think that one's just going to be awesome. And then this is uh, from Baker Creek, a uh, cucumber dar. I think everybody will enjoy that. Let's get these suckers in the ground. Okay, we have a ton of bush beans, and I'm not exactly sure what I want to plant in here. Uh, I got some purple TP beans. They look awesome. I know it's backwards. I thought about, I'm thinking this top crop yellow, just because it looks cool. I think that may be the one I plant. There's only 25 seeds in there, so I think that'll work out good. But I got a... Uh, land dress stringless bush bush bean bish i got bush beans i got a contender <laughs> bean i got a little of everything i tell you another cool one is this royal burgundy bean man that's a good looking bean i'm gonna plant a bunch of stuff in the garden if i can beat this rain i gotta leave here in a minute but we'll finish out the dragon's tongue looks super cool we just really got some cool beans and here's another one we got one from mi gardener and one from baker creek i'd like to grow both of those just to see how they turn out and if I could keep up with which one was which, I'm bad about not writing stuff down. But, but I think what we're going to grow in this is going to be the top crop yellow. The MI Gardener. I know it's backwards, but that'll be a cool bean, I think. Let me get this in the ground. That is a cool looking bean. Yeah, really cool. Guys, you know you're using your compost when you find a chicken skull <laughs> in your compost. We compost everything. Little chicken skull from one of our meat birds. <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, not a super huge amount of beans, but we got some more planted. Uh, 
We got some cucumbers planted. I'm gonna run and pick up Destiny and Logan from work. They got a little summer job while they're down here working at uh, Ison's Nursery. Pretty cool. They're growing. They're starting next year's muscadines. I think that's really cool. So the ones they're starting now, I'll probably be buying next year. I really think that's neat. But uh, the rain's coming. Hopefully we're gonna beat it. Uh, stick around. We'll see what else we can get in the ground. All right. Well, we didn't get to plant in the garden. I picked up Logan and Destiny from work. They've been working all day. Uh, didn't get to finish planting, but tomorrow, we got rain coming again tomorrow, but I'm going to try in between little storms to get the rest of the beans out because I just want a bunch of beans out there. The beans are easy to grow. I think I can handle that, and I like beans. We're going to finish up. We're going to grab these eggs. I want to check on my turkeys, my quail, see how they made it through the, uh, through the rain, feed the pigs, and I think that's it. Chores will be done until tomorrow. Let's see what the eggs are looking like. Great birds. Okay guys, we're in here in the quail pen. It seems like uh, it did really well. The tarp's working good. Uh, one thing we're noticing about our quail is we're starting to kind of tell, except for these little small ones, we're kind of able to tell the males from the females now. I'll see if I can find one. That one, I believe, is going to be a male. I'm going to grab it as soon as it gets over here. I'll see if I can find one. Like this one right here. Come here, you little bugger. Come here, buddy. There's some jumpers on the jumpers. But this one's got that red on its chest. I believe that one's going to be a male. It's got that red on its chest. And the others we noticed, like, like her, she don't have the red on her chest. She's got a lot of spots on her. I think those are the females. And like that one right back there, it's got red on him. I think that's a male. A female and a male. But we're, start, we're not, noticing some coloration out of them. So that's kind of cool. Getting a little messy in here. I think I'm going to throw some wood shavings in here real quick. Okay. Getting a little gross Guys, the turkeys are looking fantastic. Plenty of water. They just seem to grow an inch every day. They're doing so good. And we've been really cautious this year about how we move this pen. Last year, we, we just raised them like we did the chickens. We were a little more aggressive. We moved the pen faster. We ran over a couple. And guys, if you run over your bird, he's in trouble. If you break one of the legs... They just don't recoup. They don't recoup. So that was our problem last year. We had a couple got run over. We had a, you know, we've done it with chickens. So we've gotten to where we move these pins a lot slower now. Look at the white one. The bottom of that white one's neck. He's starting to get that stuff under his. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He's getting a little skin stuff under his neck. They're really looking good.
All right, guys, we got the pigs fed. Uh, we got the turkeys fed. We got the quail. The quail are doing just great. I'm just blown away at how well the quail are doing. We put some pine shakes down. starting to get a little stinky in there, mostly because of all this rain that just came through. The pigs are finally able to root around again. They're finally rooting this hard dirt that was going on out here. It's ridiculous. But uh, the pigs are happy. Everybody's happy and glad to see the rain. Uh, we got some beans in the greenhouse. Tomorrow, we're going to try to put some beans uh, in the watermelon garden, the rest of the watermelon garden, try to fill some of them gaps in. Just stick some beans out there. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, really appreciate you guys checking us out. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Um, appreciate y'all watching. Hey, we will see you on the next video. Thanks again.